I don't know who said that Olympic swimmers, uh, oh, why they flab? Flabby a, meaning like they're doing this before yeah, the race. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's do this again. So I, I think the question is probably why they are kind of flabbing their muscle right before the race. It's more a, a relaxation type of, a, um, I guess, exercise, if you can call that. But certainly, you know, just kind of getting your arms uh, swinging behind your head or right to the side, it just kind of relaxes the muscle a little bit before the race. Lots of lotion. It's just because our bodies are uh, always pretty dry from being in the water for so long and all the chlorine that we have to be in. We shave our bodies for more hydrodynamics that we can create in the water. The reason why we shave our bodies, uh, also our skin is used to a certain feeling that we have um, of the water when we train uh, repetitively. When you shave your body, you also shave off that top layer of skin. So um, when you're you know, going into your big competition, it just basically gives you that really nice, uh, almost a foreign feeling, a, a fresh feeling to your body. And uh, I also think it's a mental thing that helps uh, uh, swimmers just to, to, to get up for their racing. It's ritual, but I mean, there is, I mean, not, not that everyone that shaves is always swims faster, but there's definitely that uh, kind of a foreign feeling on your skin, like you're, you feel like bold. Yeah. And yeah, it, it's, it's an interesting feeling for sure. Olympic swimmers eat everything. Um, no, seriously, uh, swimmers nowadays um, actually are pretty smart about their diet to make sure that there's a good balance. Absolutely, swimming is considered a sport. I, I would argue one of the hardest sports uh, around uh, in terms of training and preparation that you have to go through. I would say swimming is a lot harder uh, just because the, the aerobic training that you have to go through on an ongoing, uh, on ongoing basis, uh, five hours a day, um, absolutely harder than really any other sport, let alone soccer. Uh, swimming is looked at as an individual sport, but I can certainly argue there's a big component of uh, team in, in swimming, especially the fact that you're training for four or five hours a day and it's so important to have uh, teammates with you, pushing you, challenging you, and obviously you as a swimmer feeding off of their energies to, to bring out the best every single day. Most swimmers are tall, not everyone, but uh, obviously if you look at sports in general, especially today, uh, most athletes are, are taller and leaner and stronger, I think. It's, just, it's more a generational thing these days, so in order to compete at the highest level, I think you need to be pretty tall, both for, for males and females.